Hi and welcome to this lecture where we're going to learn the E blues scale. Now I know this is not 100% uh, classical guitar, but I thought it will be a good example to show you uh, the B flat in action. So let me play you first the scale to see how it sounds and then we're going to break it down. So, uh, there are few things that is interesting about this scale. Number one, we are using the B and the B flat both in the same scale. Uh, that's what gives it the uh, this bluesy sound. Uh, the second thing that you'll notice that we're going to skip a few notes. For example, we are not going to play the F and we're not going to play the C at all. And that's what makes the sound of the scale as it is. It's not a major, it's not a minor, it's a blue scale. It's come from um, something called a pentatonic scale, which means penta means five. So the pentatonic is five notes. That's why we took off the F and the C to, uh, to have five notes instead of seven. And then we added the B flat with the B to sound it as a blues. So without the B flat, it will be sound, uh, it will sound like the pentatonic scale like this. With the B flats. So that's the, uh, that's the pentatonic and the, uh, the blue scale. They are both the same. Uh, but with the difference of adding the B flats. So let's break it down. We start with the E. You can play it with the thumb, you can play it with the I M free stroke, uh, doesn't matter. E, G, and then A, B flat, B, or we can say A, A sharp, B. That's the first octave. And as you notice, we left the F, played the G, we left the C, we played the D, and then E. Then we started from this E to the second octave. E, no F, G, A, A sharp. B, D, E. Again, E, G, A, A sharp, D, D, E. Descending, E, D, no C, B, B flat. This is where we're going to use the flat because we're descending. B, B flat, A, G. So that was the E blues scale. I hope you liked this lecture. I just wanted to give you an example of using the sharps when we are ascending and the flats when we're deascending. De and uh, I couldn't find a better example than the blues scale. If you're fond of the blues, I'm sure you like this lecture. Uh, if you want, we can, uh, you can write me so I can teach you uh, finger style blues maybe in the next um, course if that's something you wish to uh, have in your repertoire. I know it's part of the uh, a diversion of the classic repertoire we have, but uh, hey, we can jazz it up a little bit. So I hope you learned something new. Thank you, and I will see you in the next section.